Hey guys, Group A, Matthew, Juliet, Eric, Gerson, and Brianna. Um, happy week number two. I'd like to go through the slideshow and talk about your goals for each and every day. So once again, our goal is to um, know a strategy to help, uh, help us with our multiplication facts. So think about skip counting by twos, fives, and tens. You guys are super fast with that because you've been practicing that for two years since the turn. We want you to be as quick with your sixes, sevens, eights, nines, elevens, and twelves. Once you master that, that's a great strategy to help you with figuring out multiplication facts. So once again, um, there are a few different ways of doing that, creating a multiplication chart or grid hundred chart, or um, you can just count by a specific number across on a piece of paper. Please make sure you're doing that each and every day. Now, extra math is a little different because what you're doing is you're memorizing multiplication facts. We want you to memorize facts that you maybe do not know automatically. Okay, so those are going to be the yellow and gray boxes. Um, extra math will tell you what to focus on. Think of just try to memorize a couple each session. Uh, and once again, I would recommend 10 to 15 minutes. That means signing back in multiple times. I know you guys don't like doing that, um, but that'll ensure that you're practicing repetition, repetition. Next, we want to kind of review some of the division strategies I taught you throughout the year. As you guys know, division is repeated subtraction um, as we take a look at this. So once again, um, if we look at 9 divided by 3, one strategy is subtracting 3, and that would be 6. 9 minus 3 is 6. Take another 3 away. Remember, repeated subtraction. So that is going to be 3. And then take away another 3. And boys and girls, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay. Uh, think about it three sections within that number line from nine to zero. Moving left because it is subtraction. That strategy is a little weird or confusing. Think about partitioning. So we have three groups. We're dividing nine by three. So you have nine objects and you are dividing them into three groups. So let's just count um, up to nine. One, two, three, and then we go back to our first group. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. And that's called partitioning. It's kind of like you're just distributing a specific number evenly. Nine divided by three is three. Um, the last uh, diagram or vi visual representation, a drawing, is basically similar to multiplication. Um, and once again, the reason why um, you'll be really good or proficient with division is because you're really good with multiplication. Think about this. Three, three, and three. Um, equals 9. You have 3 kids. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So I'd like you to click on the Khan Academy link. If they're going to be basic uh, division problems, uh, arrays, and a variety of ways of practicing division, which uh, we have practiced um, the last couple of months. Next, I'd love for you guys to read independently. Uh, that means please do this on your own. You can read it out loud to your parents, um, but if they do help you, it will skew the data. Um, I'd love for you to go ahead and take an SRI to get a good measurement of your Lexile reading level. Um, most of us have been reading uh, middle of second grade, um, and that is somewhere around 400, 450. Um, so hopefully those, those 300s and those 400s are going to bump up. Remember, daily reading, um, the, Hen the Henry and Mudge and Frog and um, Toad are perfect uh, selections for for um, most of the read 80, read 180 students, okay? Last but not least, practicing summarizing what you've read is a great way to identify that you remember what you read. Um, and a narrative is a fictional piece. Um, Frog and Toad, Henry Mudge are fictional. Um, they're short stories, so sometimes the problems are not as uh, grand or able to identify, um, but uh, they do follow this format, uh, elements of fiction, character, setting, problem, and solution. So in the character blank, the main characters are, the setting is, remember setting where the story takes place, what is the character's main problem, and remember um, in, in the plot of a story, um, usually the character is trying to solve his or her problem, and the, the solution is usually the, the finale, the ending result. And, and then once again, please tell us why you enjoyed reading this passage. Make a text-to-self connection. Relate it to something that maybe that you've experienced. Um, as you probably remember, last week my daughter read one of these selections to you and, and uh, helped you to um, 
to summarize uh, the passage that she read. I believe it was Sparkle Days. So, hey, guys, um, have a great week. Uh, once again, super excited to see you guys jumping on to Extra Math Daily. You worked really hard, and, man, some of the percentages went really high, which is great. Let's keep plugging away. And week number two, uh, make it a great week.